When most people picture telescopes, they imagine it's set up in the middle of the night and pointed towards the starlit heavens. Many forget, or they don't know, that sometimes they can be used during the day as well. Of course, one can't just point a telescope at the sun and look through it. That's a good way to go blind. No, to view the sun safely, a filter must be used. Like those disposable glasses used to look at the sun during an eclipse, a film is placed around the end of the telescope. Then, it can be safely used to view our closest star. And that was exactly what Adrian was doing. She was studying the sun from her backyard with her brand new telescope. Amateur though she may have been, Adrian had always had a passion for the universe and all its mysteries. Often, she wondered if she had wasted her life by not becoming the astronomer she had always pictured herself becoming. Her childhood dreams had been filled with exploring the stars either from Earth or the seat of a rocket. Either way, Adrian wanted nothing more than to explore the heavens. Now, she had to settle for her backyard. But Adrian was fine with her reality. Staring at the sun through her telescope, she admired its wonder. It looked like nothing more than a giant orange ball with a couple of black spots, but to her, it was a work of art. In the back of her mind, a random fact fluttered. It took the sun's light about eight minutes to reach the surface of the Earth, meaning the sun she was looking at was actually eight minutes younger than the warm rays touching her skin. The same could be said for every heavenly body in the sky. This fact, when pondered, could boggle the mind. When thinking about some of the more distant stars and stellar objects, it really started to fascinate her. Some of the stars in the night sky were hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. This meant looking at the night sky was a look into the past. Many of those brilliant little lights may no longer exist, but the light was still reaching our planet. Adrian often wondered if somewhere out in the vast universe, someone was using a similar device as hers to scan the night sky and happened upon the light from our very own planet. From their distance, they would have no way of knowing humans existed on it, but that was not the thought on Adrian's mind when drifting to this daydream. Instead, she wondered how far in the future this being was viewing us and how long our species had been dead for, or had we found a way to move beyond our Earth by then. She had to shake the thoughts from her mind, otherwise she would be consumed by them. It was a rabbit hole she enjoyed venturing down, but now wasn't the time. Adrian was looking for something on the surface of the sun. Something she was convinced had to be there. Though it was impossible, she knew she had seen it. The first day she had brought home her brand new telescope with a sun filter attachment, she had set it up and stared at the sun. Within the first hour, she had seen something that couldn't be there. At first, she was convinced she had hallucinated. Then she saw it much clearer. Something had rippled across the surface of the sun. Through the filter, a lot of the detail was lost and all she could make out were outlines. But from what she could see, it looked like something she had never seen before. Adrian was convinced she saw the outline of a large ship run across the surface. It was a giant craft made up of pointy triangles and other sharp shapes. With only being able to see the outline, she couldn't quite make out exactly what it looked like. But now, she wanted to see it again. She hoped it had only been a satellite crossing over into her field of view, or maybe a solar flare of some kind. But she knew neither could explain what she saw. The object had been massive. The sun was about 109 times the diameter of Earth. About 1,300,000 Earths could fit across the surface of the sun. In other words, the sun was massive on its own. Whatever she had seen took up nearly a quarter of the size of the star, which meant it was much bigger than Earth. Something that large should have cast a shadow on the planet. Or at least she thought it should. She wasn't entirely sure. But the physics didn't concern her. The implications did. Whatever was out there was large enough to take out the Earth with just a little bump. If it was an asteroid, there would be no saving the planet. If it was some sort of alien craft, it would probably be the same. Still, she hadn't been sure what she had seen, or if she had seen anything at all. All she could do now was scan the sun for signs of movement. And after nearly an hour of watching the stars, she saw something. A ripple across the sun again, just like before. Except this time, she realized it wasn't something on the surface of the sun, but something just beneath it. Something was swimming beneath the surface as if it were a lake. 
Again, Adrian didn't think this was possible. The sun was far too hot for something to survive there, and she was certain the surface of the sun wasn't a sort of liquid. If she remembered her schooling right, it was a gas. Regardless of the facts, something was moving on the sun's surface. A professional astronomer would probably say it was nothing more than solar flares or the gaseous surface of the sun moving as it always did. But Adrian knew this was different. She wished she could see a closer image of the sun without the solar filter. Then she would be able to see all the finer details in whatever was moving around up there. She gave an audible scream when something broke out over the surface of the sun. A giant claw-like object protruded from the gas. She could see the outline clear as day. Now she knew she wasn't crazy. It was there for her to see, finally out in the open. Unless someone else was viewing the sun at this very moment through the same filter, she was the only one able to see this creature. The sun was too far away and too bright to make out this detail from far away. Her feelings of specialty faded when the claw ripped and tore at the sun. She watched through the telescope as the sun started to break apart. Adrian pulled away from the telescope and looked up into the sky. There was nothing there to see. Yet. But Adrian knew the planet only had eight minutes before the sun stopped warming it with its rays. Life on Earth was about to change forever, and she was among the few to know. Adrian dropped to her knees and prayed. <laughs>